Welcome to the Technological University of the Shannon Virtual Conferring Ceremony for 2022. As you prepare to become a graduate, reflect upon your time as a student and remember it with great fondness. Know that whatever challenges lie ahead, that you are equipped with the skills, knowledge and competences required to handle them. And that in the face of many challenges, you have triumphed. Show tremendous courage and resilience in that process. This steadfastness will bring you great success in your future career as you prepare to go out into this world, a graduate of this university. So be proud of your alma mater, the Technological University of the Shannon. In TUS, we believe that these benefits accrue when education is made as accessible as possible to as many people as possible. For this reason, we always have and always will provide access to education using all appropriate technologies and methods of teaching available to us. This is the philosophy at the heart of the Faculty of Continuing Professional Online and Distance Learning. As you move on in your careers over the next few years, be assured that we will continue to grow to be the natural home for academic leaders, knowledge creators and cutting edge researchers engaged in applied research. A reputation that we value because we recognise its importance to you as our alumni. Our ambition is to be transformational for our region, serve our communities and indeed have a global reach through our knowledge creation and knowledge sharing. Ladies and gentlemen, graduates, graduation is one of the highlights of our academic calendar and we are delighted to be here with you this evening in the company of your family, friends, lecturers and mentors, although virtually. This is your moment. You have earned it. Enjoy it and cherish it. Education isn't just about knowing the right answers. It's about knowing what questions to ask. What impact can our research have on reducing climate change? Why do humans need a supportive environment to show who they really are? How can we innovate to prepare our graduates for the industry of the future? Where can we make changes to enhance accessibility? When will we have a society based on inclusiveness and fairness? Who makes community? At the Technological University of the Shannon Midlands Midwest, we prepare students to ask the questions that will define the future success of our society. Across our six campuses of Clare Street and Moylish in Limerick, Athlone, Clonmel, Turles and Ennis, we have the people, we have the passion and the technology that creates space for learning, where knowledge thrives. The future belongs to those who can find patterns and imagine a new way to apply traditional disciplines. Our future leaders will have the empathy and the observational skills to see how the world works and how it could be better. They will ask what, they will ask why, where, when, who, how. This questioning spirit this thirst for knowledge, this drive for innovation flows deep in our university. TUS, where knowledge flows deep. TUS is a year old, and we can be proud of what has happened in that year. We were born in a pandemic, but that only served to strengthen our resolve. The young university's first graduates were conferred in Athlone and Limerick, and in-person classes returned. The future is bright for our growing technological university. We are now opening up to the next generation of two students and we're making strides towards our strategic plan and goals. We welcome the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center Sports Injury Clinics to our Moylish and Thurlis campuses. Our LSED graduates were able to facilitate an in-person degree show and we were designated as a University of Sanctuary. We are now a community of almost 20,000. Tooth is about our people. Our strength is our community. Dear Yves Galair, August Falter, Gabala Ohalun. Welcome to the Technological University of the Shannon. 
My name is Dr. Terry Toomey, Vice President of Academic Affairs and Registrar of the Technological University of the Shannon. And this evening, it is my honor to act as your Master of Ceremonies for this graduation session. Graduands, ladies and gentlemen, colleagues and friends, I'd like to warmly welcome you to the Technological University of the Shannon graduation ceremony of 2022. As part of your graduation ceremonies for the university, we will confer 650 undergraduate awards this evening on behalf of the Faculty of Continuing Professional Online and Distance Learning. Our conferring session is the highlight of our academic calendar. It brings great joy not only to you, our graduates, and your family and friends, but brings great pride for our university community, academics, professionals, and support staff right across the university. Our staff have supported you directly and indirectly on your academic journey that culminates today and in particular this evening with your conferring. It is a day that you celebrate with your family and loved ones virtually, similar to how you engaged in your studies. We in twos stand beside you to acknowledge formally this significant milestone in your life. I'd like to personally thank you all for being present this evening. I know that some of you are at home with your families dressed in your academic robes to mark the occasion. We look forward to seeing you, your celebrations and your photos from your significant day captured on our social media platforms later. So, to give you an overview of this evening's graduation ceremony, this evening's conferring will start with a message from the chairperson of the governing body of the Technological University of the Shannon, Ms. Josephine Feheli. The chairperson's message will be followed by a message and the formal words of conferring from the president of the Technological University of the Shannon, Professor Vincent Canaan. Then the formal conferring of the awards will start as I invite Dr. Michael Tobin, Dean of the Faculty of Continuing Professional and Online and Distance Learning to introduce the conferring and to invite Mr. Shana Ryan, Head of the Department of Lifelong Learning to call each graduate's name individually under your class group. I will now call upon the Chairperson of the Technological University of the Shannon Governing Body, Ms. Josephine Feheli, to address you. Thank you, Dr. Toomey. Gurmahagat. Bali year of a cordia. Is more on honor dam falcher coroiv, quig on gaed, sharmanish brontikema, erlina, de quid dov na fola melanuni, garamula, erlina, agus kianolum, ansha er campus tus, imalia haluan. Tommy den shots for nona, con shivsha, rong govi la fesa do, a ahench agus echelure. Co gorgeous live Guler. It is my great honour this afternoon to welcome you to the first online graduation ceremony of the Faculty of Continuing Professional Online and Distance Learning at the Thus at Lone Campus. We're here this evening to recognise and to celebrate you, the class of 2022. Congratulations to all of you. I would like to particularly acknowledge the commitment that you have shown in undertaking your studies. Many of you returning to study and many others engaging with third level study for the very first time. To study in this way is a very real challenge and to succeed is a significant personal achievement. People talk about work-life balance, but to succeed, you've had to go one further. You've had to strike a balance between life work and study. This is not easy. It involves choices, discipline and sheer hard work. I'll bet you've had to miss a social event or a match or a family occasion to get those assignments in. I empathise with you. I recognise what you have done to get here this evening because like you, I was an adult student. And I want you to know that it is all worthwhile. As if those pressures weren't enough, you've studied against the background of a world in flux 
with a land war in Europe, the consequences of Brexit and, of course, the global pandemic that is still with us. Nonetheless, whatever is happening in the world, it's an unmistakable fact that you are graduating into a strong Irish labour market where there is a real and consistent demand for talent. This is the good news. You're graduating at a good time. And the commitment you have shown, the knowledge you have acquired, and the qualifications you now hold, all have a high value in the workplace. They are appreciated by employers, and the sectors where you will use your qualifications are strong, and they will be further strengthened by your enhanced expertise. Your potential, both personal and professional, has been developed by your qualifications and by what you have achieved. In the Technological University of the Shannon, we believe that these benefits accrue when education is made as accessible as possible to as many people as possible. And for that reason, we always have and always will provide access to education using all technologies and methods of teaching available to us. This is the philosophy at the heart of your faculty. We're proud of you. We're proud of what you have done in your studies. And you should be proud of yourselves. I hope you're also proud of the university of which you are now an alumnus. Many of you are with your families and friends right now. And just as I recognise the commitment that the graduates have shown, so too I know that you, the family and friends of graduates, have had to make sacrifices to support them. And this is a proud moment for you as well. Congratulations once more, and I wish you all every success in the next phase of your lives, wherever that takes you. Cogordus erisht, the rang govila fezado, bakorji eva ve anvrodular fad, guim gach ra arif asha amak, kibe bohar arano ishif, garim mila mahagiv iskanairi liv guler. I now call the President of the Technological University of the Shannon, Professor Vincent Canaan, to address you. Thank you, Dr. Toomey. Hakarja, Falcha Rav Galer, Hebrona Nagemina, Fia Fia Dal, and All Skull Technoliacta Nashana. Friends, you are very welcome to the Technological University of the Shannon, the Athlone campus, and the conferring of awards from the Faculty of Continuing Professional Online and Distance Learning. Welcome, graduates, and also welcome to your friends and family. This evening begins our conferring season here at TUS, the highlight of the academic calendar, and is always a special occasion for our community. The ambition of TUS is to impact our region, serve our communities, and indeed to have a global reach through our knowledge creation and knowledge sharing. We want to encourage inward investment and support indigenous business by working with industry to help develop our programs and our wider activities. We want to lead the development of our region so that the graduates can live, work, and raise families here. We want our new technological university to be at the centre of an evolving regional ecosystem. And these are the ambitions I believe you share, maybe even before you enrolled, to become an integral part of the TUS community. Because by enrolling in these courses, it has allowed you to evolve with changing work practices and skills, allowed you to upskill to areas that interest you, and meet the employment demands of the region, allowed you to learn a new craft or skill that will benefit the further development of our area. You too have shown a commitment to your region, your community and your families, as well as to your own personal and professional development. Regional development is a founding principle of TUS, and the courses you graduate from today are the embodiment of that principle. 
by ensuring you have the ability to remain working, living and contributing to your local community. By enrolling in our courses, you brought with you a unique perspective and various skills from your life, from your workplace and from previous education, all of which have enhanced your learning experience here. You also brought with you a willingness to learn how to do things differently and broaden your horizons. In the course of the pandemic, TUS as a community learned how to do many things differently. One of the most fundamental learning curves was moving the whole student body to online learning for a significant period of time. This was a massive undertaking, but students like you paved the way for this transition. You proved that in the right circumstances, you can learn, engage, research, and yes, even graduate online. In this particular case, you were the trendsetters. In many ways, you were the pioneers for the development of a new era in higher education. Online, flexible and distance learning is integral to our ability to impact the region, engage further with industry and employers, and reach out across campuses, counties and countries as we share knowledge and learning. So while learning online, you might at times have felt that you were removed from the main student body, but I can assure you, you were always an integral part of the TUS community. In fact, in the next few minutes, you will be graduates of this technological university and part of the growing TUS alumni. Of course, you did not make it to this momentous occasion on your own. To those who supported you along the way, heartiest congratulations to you also. You too are part of our community. To the staff who helped bring you, our graduates, to this day, a sincere thank you. Your knowledge and dedication is invaluable as we grow our TUS community and influence our region. And so, to the TUS class of 2022, let me congratulate you on your successful studies and wish you all the very best in your future, both professionally and personally. And don't be a stranger. You are one of us and we are TUS. Goharjias legat denya as kema wanchamak ogusadiri and tavlev. I now call on the Dean of the Faculty of Continuing Professional Online and Distance Learning, Dr. Michael Tobin, to introduce the conferring of awards and present the candidates for award. Good evening. As the Dean of the Faculty of Continuing Professional Online and Distance Learning, it is my great pleasure to join the Chair and the President in welcoming faculty colleagues and most importantly families, friends and members of the 2022 graduating classes to our virtual ceremony. I am delighted that you can join us and would like to remind you all, our graduates, that no matter where you are, this is your evening uh, to celebrate your achievement, so enjoy it all. This evening we celebrate a moment of real consequence in the lives of the graduates across the faculty and in particular the Department of Lifelong Learning. In total, we have 650 conferees being conferred this evening across both Level 6 and Level 7 programmes. We recognise all our conferees equally from our various programmes, spanning diverse fields of study from business studies, finance and payroll, human resource management, supervisory management, quality management, logistics and supply chain, social media, procurement, psychology, real estate, law, biopharma, medtech, project management, social care, supervisory management and leadership. This year just passed, while we may forget it today, was again one of considerable disruption and it is a testament to you, the graduates, your lecturers and our administrative teams that we are here today celebrating this wonderful achievement. It is through your efforts, 
dedication, perseverance, long hours attending online classes and at study. In addition to the support received from your family, your friends and work colleagues that has enabled you to achieve your award this evening. So irrespective of where you are this evening, why don't you take a personal applause from me and whomever might be beside you to say well done to yourself. You did it. Indeed, I look forward to welcoming you back to the faculty again at some time in the future as you embark on your next learning journey now that you know that you can do it. You might say not a chance today, but trust me, you'll miss us and we'll return. To all the graduates, on behalf of my faculty colleagues, I want to offer our warmest congratulations. I know that we have asked a lot of you during your time with us, and you in return have responded with dedication, perseverance, good humour, and a lot of hard work. Congratulations to you all. Finally, a reminder that we'll be calling the names of all graduates. So as your class programme group is called, be sure to take a bow and enjoy the moment as you acknowledge your success and be assured that your parchment will be sent to you in the coming weeks. President, I am satisfied that the following candidates have successfully completed programmes of study within the Faculty of Continuing Professional Online and Distance Learning and are worthy of the awards about to be conferred upon them. I invite you now to present to them the parchment. I now call upon my colleague, Mr. Shane O'Ryan, Head of the Department of Lifelong Learning, who will reduce the conferries. Thank you and good evening. President, I present to you the names of the candidates who have successfully completed the programmes under the Department of Lifelong Learning and are, who are worthy of the award of certificate and degree and I request you to confer their awards on them. Special Purpose Award Certificate in Financial Accounting and Payroll Lynn Eddy Suleiman Alnazal Lazma Arika York Sinab Arasanya, Erika Bendara Verasin, David Boylan, Melanie Brady, Tara Brophy, Sasha Brudel, Lisa Buckley, Anne Butler, Anne Byrne. Emma Byrne, Fiona Byrne, Patrick Byrne, Jose Camarina, William Ivor Campbell, Carla Carl, Neve Carl, Neve Casey, Gabriella Chekanova, Tara Clark. Maria Coleman, Helena Connell, Kira Connolly, Catherine Conroy, Megan Corr, Rachel Cass, Claire Crowley, Sarah Cullen, Erica Cunningham. Adriana de Lima Camargo, Ashleen Dillon, Nigel Donovan, Frank Dornellis, Annalisa Doyle, Lisa Doyle, Martha Doyle, Tommy Doyle, Reese Dunn. Hilary Dumphy, Hazel Farrell, Colette Ford, Beatrice Fundinu, Mark Garvey, Leah Ginty, Declan Goggin, John Gonley, Laura 
Grady Lawler, Liz Gray, Kelly Griffin, Sheena Gunning, Karen Hahasi, Dara Hanna, Kira Hayes, Daryl Herbert, Daniela Christina Herdes, Darren Hogan, Martina Hogan Price, Maria Hock, Thomas Hughes, Francesca Infantino, Eva Anvanica, Kerry Jacob, Harry Jeter, Paulina Josevich Novak, Maria Jurisch, Fabiana Tereshina Kaffer, Edita Kashika, Karen Kavanagh, Maria Kearney, Laura Keegan. Pauline Kellett, Fiona Kelly, Ashleen Kenny, Samantha Kyo, Danielle Kiernan, Sandra Kiesviter, Fiona Killeen, Grace Kilroy, Karen Knox, Maria Kobal, Sanya Kokonavich, Patricia Kovalaska, Sergey Krapovin, Donna Lally Flynn, Anna Maria Langdon, Aoife Lonergan, Stuart Longhurst, Nukatula Mambula, Catherine Marr, Priyadarshina Mankadan, Susanna Masgrau, Rhoda Masula, Tamara Masterson, Stephanie McGinty, Carl McGrath, Kathleen McEvitt Savage, Kathy Melly, Tracy Minock, Alina Minzat, Yelena Metrovich Kobanin, Maura Mockler, Marcella Cecilia Moss, Shirley Morn, Winnie Moylan. Margaret Moynihan, Mary Mulvaney, Mary Murphy, Neve Murtha, Rosemary Nocton, Mark O'Brien, Clara O'Burn, Linda O'Connell, Paula O'Connor, Georgina O'Donnell, Corina O'Healy, Loretta O'Leary, Kate O'Shea, Wally Ulabi, Yvonne Pejak, Nina Patel, Sanya Pavlovich, Tanya Pils, Aaron Pinsarnik. Mary Poland, Karen Prendergast, Jennifer Preston, Roger Quinn, Alma Ryan, Siobhan Ryan, Lorna Sharp, Ashleen Sheridan, Lydia Skelly, Emer Spedding, Natalie Spinola Diaz, 
Nikola Stankova, Nicole Stevenson, Beta Scolia, Sarah Tanzi, Tina Tai, Mathia Tomatic, Edwina Taina, Carmen Maria Oregano, Katrina Ward, Eva Tesonic, Mona Tesarabel. Special Purpose Award Certificate in Human Resource Management, Gillian Bertel Grenadenberg, Yasmin Brea, Zachary Brea, Debbie Bach, Aoife Brian, Gabriel Budinino, Joanne Burke, Neve Carey, David Carmody, Carla Cassidy, Denise Cassidy, Lauren Cassidy, Richard Carr, Roisin Costello, Nicola Cullen Flynn, Ryan Cusack, Teresa Delaney, Leone de Sousa, Neve Egan, Rachel English, Rachel Fagan, Nolene Finnegan, Lorna Flaherty, Samantha Flynn, Kevin Foley, Danielle Fury, Dagmara Foreman, Caroline Gallagher, Teresa Galvin, Brian Garvey, Anne Marie Gilchrist, Kira Griffin, Donna Hagen, Keith Hannaway, Maria Healy, Siobhan Henry, Neve Herity, Evelyn Hessian, Jade Hill, Anna Hughes, Anna Hughes, Jack Irwin, Rebecca Kavner, Maura Keady, Shane Lundberg, Jade Lydon, Cheryl Martin, Sinead McCauley, Roisin McLaughlin O'Neill, Claire McManus, Sarah Monaghan, Claude Monaghan, Debbie Nightingale, Mairead O'Hara, Claire O'Sullivan, Lorena Palamas Rica, Carly Parker, Katazarna Pasternak, Lucy Pinfold, Ivan Prendigast, Thelma Pryor, Sarah Porfield Stafford, Emily Rattigan, Margot Redmond, Kira Roach, Dervla Roach, Nicola Ryan, Oshin Ryan, Hamura Salem, Lisa Shannon, Jessica Simpson, Fiona Smith, Michelle Smith, Orion Zolalaski, Sebastian Slachter, Ania Tossenberger, 
Stella Ungbad, Elaine Walsh, Claire Whelan, Nicole Whelan, Daniel Wilkinson, Rebecca Woolard. Special Purpose Award Certificate in Logistics and Supply Chain Management. Stephen Bergen, Adrian Connick, Dean Connolly, Nicola Connor, Liliana Corrier, Colin Dowling, Colin Farrell, Niara Ferrara Brandine, Donato Farina Sabino, Salius Japsas, Hanalaka Keel, John Kiley, John Killeen, Richard King, Anna Kuzaska, Brian McCarthy, Noel Mead, Kamla Melodlow, Leslie Murphy, Siobhan Murphy, Anya Nachter, Jackie O'Connell, Paul O'Connor, Kevin O'Hara, Kira O'Mahony, Claire O'Sullivan, Zoe Power, Patrick Rooney, Stuart Sheehan, Kadrija Silkarana, Lorraine Tracy, I Me Wang, Special Purpose Award Certificate in Procurement, Darren Ahern, Francis Byrne, Anna Melina Carceres, Annabel Connolly, Greta Curry, Helena Danaher, Owen Dolan, Stephen Dunn, Maria English Stokes, Charles Fagan, Anne Faulkner, Ashling Fingleton, Anne Geraghty, Vincent Grady, Sharon Howard, Alan Lawler, Lure Martinez, Joseph McCann, Fiona McGrail, Alan Murray, Heinrich John O'Brien, Sarah O'Hare, Melanie O'Sullivan, Sharon Power, Anita Stevarich, Dave Stokes, Terry Louise Whelan, Jenny Wilson, Maria Witherow. Special Purpose Award Certificate in Real Estate Administration, Caroline Cawley, Orla Clark, Elizabeth Cogavan, Laura Curran, Mia Gallagher, Mohammed Shandat Hussain, Saiv Kelly, Kate McMahon, Paula Mikalak, Mary Reynolds, Emma Ryder, Paul Ward. Special Purpose Award, Certificate in Social Media and E-Business. Regina Burke, Sean Keady, Anne McEnroe, Jacinta O'Connor. Special Purpose Award, Certificate in Supervisory Management Skills for Team Leaders. Agel Bilanunta. Tanya Brudel, Seamus Clark, 
Teresa Corrigan, Jacqueline Coughlin, Michael Dolphin, Jamie Donohoe, John Dunn, Lenine Flanagan, Anne Flynn, Conan Grehan, Edgars Gramovs, Jill Ireland, Fiona Kilcourse, Nicola Lennon Lynch, Aaron Malone, Keith McCormack, Martin Neradaka, Sarah Phelan, Ketustis Punjus, Naomi Ruan. That concludes the candidates from the Department of Lifelong Learning. Congratulations to all. Graduates, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the graduation ceremony for 2022. Along with my colleagues, I wish you continued success, happiness and personal fulfillment in your future careers. Finally, I congratulate the class of 22 on your significant accomplishment and can now proudly call you members of the Technological University of the Shannon alumni community. Enjoy the rest of your special day. We would like to express a sincere thank you to everybody involved in our virtual graduation ceremonies in 2022. It takes a significant amount of people right across the Institute to be involved and below are some of the people we would like to thank. To the class of 2022, our heartfelt congratulations on the successful completion of your programme of study and the conferral of your award. You did it. Today's joyous and momentous occasion marks the closing of one chapter and the opening of another. As you go out into the world today, carving careers, building lives, remember that you are part of the Global Alumni Network. Stay in touch with each other and with us. Our door is always open. We are immensely proud of all that you have achieved throughout your time here with us at the Technological University of the Shannon and we wish you well in your future endeavours. Garamira Margaret. <laughs>